Welcome to the introduction of our tiny tutorial series on machine learning. You probably have heard the term machine learning by now, and you may be wondering, what does it mean? Here's a definition I took from Wikipedia. Machine learning is a field of computer science that gives computer systems the ability to learn, in other words, aggressively improve performance on a specific task with data without being explicitly programmed. So the next and possibly more important question is, how do I apply this to my workflow? It seems difficult or at the very least cryptic and not easy to apply. Well, we at Enthought have a lot of experience using and teaching machine learning. We're gonna show you how in a few simple steps, you can get started on your journey into the realm of machine learning. The first thing you will need is a Python environment. And that's an easy fix. You can get Enthought's canopy for free. That will provide you with a fully integrated Python development environment that includes a code editor with Jupyter Notebook support. It also has an integrated IPython prompt, a graphical debugger, a variable browser, and a tried and tested graphical package manager. More than enough to do some machine learning. To get Canopy, go here. This will bring you to a downloads page. Find the standard installer for your machine and click the download button. Once downloaded, open it up and you're ready to go. The packages you'll need to do this tutorial, NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, and Scikit-Learn are included in the standard installer. Now, let's do some machine learning. Go to this address. This will bring you to the Scikit-Learn website. Scikit-Learn is an open source machine learning library for the Python programming language. It's built on NumPy and SciPy. On the Scikit-Learn homepage, click on the Examples tab. This opens an example page of general purpose and introductory elements for Scikit-Learn, similar to the Matplotlib gallery. Let's choose the first example, Plotting Cross-Validated Predictions. Click on the plot and it opens a definition of the example and the code needed to run it. Copy the code and paste it in Canopy. Now we're looking at the code here. I'm going to run you through it real quick. In this section here, we imported the required functions and modules to run this example. Then this section here, we set up our model and load the data. This section of code here trains the model and makes predictions. And then finally here, we plot the predicted house values against the real values. So we're going to run this and voila! We've predicted the median value of Boston homes based on a few features like the number of rooms, the tax rate, and the accessibility to highways. That's it. You've begun your journey into machine learning. As you can see, it's very easy to do machine learning in Python, and especially easy to start this process using Canopy. You can build workflows from the libraries of models contained in Scikit-Learn and other libraries to help you start your predictive analysis on whatever data you want. This allows you to discover the hidden insights that are contained in your data. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, please make sure to click the subscribe button below to get more of our tiny tutorial videos as well as other great content. If you find these kinds of Python and machine learning tips useful, you might also want to follow our Twitter feed where you'll find loads of useful Python material, including handy cheat sheets, white papers, animated GIFs explaining technical concepts, and more.